Hey, good morning. Cool little sign here marking the trailhead. This is actually for Spirit Arch and heading a little further to the south. There are definitely some cool sites to see here. And we will talk about this a little more up the trail, but I have been up this side before. Actually more like down that side and through the arches. We'll, uh, we'll show you a link to that video as well. But today we are actually gonna go to the Lost City over here. And we're gonna go right up along the creek bed and get to the higher portions of the swell or the uplift and see some incredibly beautiful rock formations in a deep wild canyon. We're gonna go way deep into it and hopefully all the way through the swell and peering out to the west on the opposite side. So we'll see you up there. Here we go. Way up there. Can't miss that one. So you can see the truck, and I came off that little red mound, and then I am just skirting the high ground above this canyon. Leaving the wash and climbing up on the slick rock, we'll be overlooking Box Canyon next. Here we are. And just a little class three to get down. We just came down from there, worked our way by that little cairn right there. And now, passing these beautiful pools, and just down on the right is a great view off into Box Canyon. And then we'll just cruise by here and enter another wash. We are working up the upper slab now, and the key to this is really staying off of these higher layers over my right shoulder right here. That's the funnel. Go up the funnel and check out the cool. Wow, major log jam right there. Oh. 
but cool little cave bypass right here. Looks like we're getting to the adventure zone now. All right, well, we passed through the Narrows directly behind us there, and now we are in the heart of the canyon. I guess Lost City will call it. That's what I heard Bob Schiller say on Mount Post. And it just gets more amazing the higher we get. We'll start seeing all these giant towers sticking up in every direction. So we'll, we'll get up high as we can, take a look all around, show you just how incredible this place is. Okay, well I have worked my way up on the southern drainage, which is what we're looking at now. And the wall behind me is just outrageous up there with that boulder perched right on the top of that tower. Wow. It's been pretty tough, so I haven't got a lot of shots, but pretty excited. It's getting a little smoother. Definitely on a game trail. And then there's the light at the end of the tunnel. Man. Holy moly, we have just about reached the other side of the uplift of the swell, and it is crazy. We are basically in an incredible hanging canyon now, and you can see on all sides just wild rock formations. About 200 feet above me on both sides, with all kinds of crazy holes and cool stuff. So that's what we're seeing now. And yeah. I think we're about to see the other end. The edge of the swell. I-70 on the other side. Beautiful views. Down below us is the west side of the Black Dragon Wash. That's a cool little ride too. And cool towers all around us. Where we came from and amazingly, if you look really close, you can actually see I-70 all the way through there too. Cool. And then, more just unbelievable towers everywhere. A little climbing here. I just came down the south drainage, worked across the base of them both at the confluence, and then now I'm working back up the north drainage just so I can get a little water. And I think I'm headed that way. So here I come. It looks sweet, and this will be the second final drainage of the adventure. Super mushroom, and then the tough route ahead. Okay, we are making our way up this north drainage, and it is just as cool as the south, I would have to say. Still just amazing walls, and undercuts on this one. And this is the way ahead. So really excited to see more of this. And it looks like there's gonna be a special surprise. So sometimes it's worth enduring, even when you're not sure. Whoa, coolness, look at that. Uh-oh, looks like we're going around on this one. This looks reasonable though. I 
This is the end of the line. Huge dry fall, but also an amazing, I think what would be called a bridge, not an arch, because it does span a waterway. Here we are in the very back, behind the bridge. And it is beautiful, that's for sure. What a cool setup. Hopefully you can see all that. Really neat. Hemmed in by a dry fall, I think just past the blue there is the edge of the swell and a huge cliff. But I'm fairly satisfied being here anyway, because this is so cool. Finding an unexpected treasure, a bridge or arch, whatever you want to call it. I'm thinking it's truly a bridge, but that is awesome. So, wow, I guess sticking with it really paid off. Glad you had a chance to see it yourself. This is right near Dragon Point on the southern canyon going all the way up the gnarly zone so going big paying out thanks for coming Ooh, super slippery hard to tell whether it's rock or sand but as you can see the arch is right there very cool all right i am safely back at the car at the trailhead here at uh spirit arch and i just wanted to give you the skinny on this the desert particularly the swell can be pretty complicated and dangerous it's easy to get trapped i definitely would use a gps and i would do a breadcrumb trail so that you can always go back the way you came that'll definitely alleviate a lot of those dangers and then water when i got back here i was beat i ate a ton and i drank even more so be prepared on both of those fronts when you come out here the weather can change super rapidly I and mean, if it changes for the super hot it's going to be pretty rough so it was an incredible trip though uh, difficult I exploited the potholes to cool off and i was running low on water and i thought i brought more than i needed so that was my experience although finding the bridge wow i did not expect that i have never seen any documentation of it and it was there that was awesome and uh, the whole kind of lost city itself there way up high on top of a mountain yet inside a canyon is amazing uh, that all said the coolest views i believe are from the drone so uh you know you'll see all kinds of incredible stuff that i've brought to you and you may not see it on your hike uh, again it is incredible but uh, it's it's hard to get those views from you know 400 feet up so anyway i hope you enjoyed and we will see you on the next one hopefully that won't be long take care